What are the must-dos at Disney's Blizzard Beach? We are showing you all of them, and we're going to rank them so you know what you have to make part of your water park day. Wait, wait, Quincy. Yeah. Why were we in the cars for so long? Because, like, I thought this was Disney's private island. No, we were just, we were, I was just driving around the parking lot. Why well, was I behind <laughs> Disney's Blizzard Beach Water Park is one of the two water parks in Disney World. This one, as you can see, has a little bit of a snowy ski slope theme. We'll learn a little bit about that story later and it might surprise you, but we're going to be going through the must-dos that you absolutely have to do during your Blizzard Beach day. Uh, we might suffer for some of them, but that's what we do here for science. Uh, and we're going to show you some tips and tricks along the way, so you're going to want to stick around. Quincy, are you going on the tall thing with me? The tall slide? Yeah, the tall slide. Uh, you're, I thought you could go on the tall slide. By myself? Yeah, it's a one-person slide. You'll be great. It'll be good. I'm excited. <laughs> We've got 14 must-dos today. I'm so excited. Coming in last place on our ranking. Yes. Must-do number 14 is go shopping. shopping. Uh, this is the beach house. It's the main shopping location at Blizzard Beach. Oh my gosh, Santa. Santa. Look at the Converse. It's the Converse. Yeah, me. I want that outfit. I do too. We're headed here into the beach house, which is like the rest of Blizzard Beach. Got that sort of ski lodge theme to it. Um, and there's actually some new merchandise here at Blizzard Beach for the reopening. There's lots of very cute new Blizzard Beach merchandise that features Mickey and Minnie skiing, since Blizzard Beach is supposed to be this ski lodge that's melting. New towel um, and all sorts of cute new merchandise. I really like this like dry fit sun shirt. The merchandise here in Beach House includes um, sunglasses from Sunglass Hut. There's lots of general Disney merchandise, t-shirts and keychains and things like that. Some snacks for your pool day, of course towels, and then bathing suits in case anything goes very wrong or your kid forgot their bathing suit or you forgot your bathing suit. Oh my gosh, there are water shoes. Brie Love always wears water shoes to water parks and that is just an expert move, honestly. It is, but I forgot mine. <laughs> Yeah. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll survive. The beach house isn't the only place you can get some shopping done though. You can also come out here to Sandbreakers, uh, which was formerly known as Icebreakers apparently. Sandbreakers has flip flops and some essentials like the towels we just saw in Beach House. Beach House is going to have the most stuff, but there are these smaller stands around um, if you need anything as you're walking by. Even if you don't buy anything. Gotta shop. Gotta shop when you're going to the beach today. You always have to shop. It's not the most important. It's not the most important must do. Wow. But you gotta. I mean, you gotta shop around. You gotta, check, shop. you gotta check out the merch. Yeah, you gotta check out the merch. Our next stop is a very exciting location because it's, it's been updated. Yes. Looks very different, and it's a very exciting update for so, fans of Disney movies. I can see it subtle sneak peek right there and it looks so cute. Our next must do is to check out the age specific areas. There are two at Blizzard Beach. The first is Tykes Peak, which is for kiddos that are 48 inches and under. So it's for younger kids. And as you'll see, there are some snowbies up here enjoying the, the, the view from the sign. Wonder what that means. <laughs> Tykes Peak has gotten a frozen overlay. So it's so sweet. It's, it's so got um, Anna and Elsa. This is specifically the scene in Frozen 2 where Elsa is helping Anna build snowies. And it's so adorable. Um, we did get a preview. There's also this side that does have Olaf and the snowbies. There are snowflakes incorporated into the splash pad to resemble Elsa's magic. The new story is that Elsa has created a little bit of a winter wonderland for Olaf and the snowbies to play, which is why you can see her magic around. And there is actually a new Frozen music playing around the area from both Frozen 1, Frozen 2, and from the short. Now for preteens, we have the Ski Patrol Training Camp, which is certainly a must do. Um, it's one of the coolest things about Blizzard Beach, and every time I'm here, it makes me upset that I am not a preteen. Um, the only reason this is so low on the list is because it is for an exclusive age group, so not everyone can do it, which means we do have to rank it a little lower, uh, but boy, oh boy, is this cool. So with that ski resort vibe of Blizzard Beach, the plot of the ski patrol camp is that you are training to be in ski patrol and that means you got to do some some ski patrol obstacle courses. Down here you've got the thin ice training course where you do have to hop from iceberg to iceberg while using the net. There's a zip line back there that you can go down, splash into some water at the end. Um, and there are some special slides back here, but it's all to get you ready for ski patrol. We're too old for ski patrol. I'm really sad. Me too. Must be number 12. Um, right now, the time we're filming this, it is the early holiday season. Yes. Um, but year-round, Blizzard Beach will do seasonal offerings when it's open. So 
That is our next must do is check out those seasonal offerings. Yes, I um, agree. Yeah, today my favorite of the seasonal offerings so far has been Vacation Santa, Vacation Santa. who is a meet and greet. You can go meet Vacation Santa. We met him a little earlier and we can roll the tape. Always watch. Oh yeah, oh yeah, no that's true. As, as my friend Roz said, I'm watching, <laughs> always watching. Oh, I didn't know you were friends with Roz. I am, and Michael Oh yeah. Well, I'm glad you're keeping an eye yeah. while you vacation. Yeah. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're on a list. So there is holiday fun. That was so much fun. Um, in the form of Vacation Santa, yes. which is a meet and greet that you can do. It's raining. Typically, he'll meet out at Sunny Sleds right by the entrance. But yes. since it's raining, he's up here under this awning at Lotta Wada Lodge. But if you don't see him, ask cast members if he's around or if he's coming out later today. Uh, we also got candy canes. Good. After Santa. He also told us there are three lists. There are three lists instead There's of two. The naughty list, the nice list, and the list. <laughs> Other seasonal offerings right now is holiday music and snow. There's I actual love snow. Love snow. Yep. I did get one on my tongue. That was a bad idea. Bad idea. It's don't soap. recommend. Don't eat the snow. It's soap. Eh. Yeah, it's a bad idea. No. There's also holiday treats. So there's a couple of special treats. We're actually going to have some of them today to show you. And um, I was shocked by this. I literally lost my mind when I saw it. There are in the Lazy River wreath tubes. There. I'm like so, floating down so the river, cool. like holiday Christmas wreath yes. tube. It puts you in the spirit. Like being, yeah. in, we were talking about it. We love our fall and our Christmas season, but being in Florida, it's a little bit different here. So yeah. this gives us the holiday spirit while also living our best Florida life. It's super <laughs> unique. It's warm out. It's hot. We're going to go swimming. And it's going to feel good. But also like I hung out Christmas. with Santa. Yeah. It's so fun. Are you ready for this next bus too? What is it? Which one is Where are we at? It's grab a drink. Oh, yeah. We're on 11. Oh, okay. We're almost to the top 10. Yes. Uh, grab a drink is another one that is lower because though Blizzard Beach does have a lot of great drink options, um, it's still on the lower side because obviously not everybody chooses to imbibe. But if you do, you gotta grab a drink. My favorite thing about drinking at Blizzard Beach and at Typhoon Lagoon is that they do have draft beer specials. Um, with these, you can do a souvenir cup for $14. Um, and then you can have premium and craft beers with same day refills for $8. $8 refills all day, which is an amazing deal. Um, these souvenir cups are pretty large, so I highly recommend doing this if you're a beer drinker. Just telling Miranda earlier that if I was gonna come to Blizzard Beach now for working for fun, I'd spend the whole day getting in and out of the Lazy River, getting a beer. Yes. Getting in the Lazy River, Grab getting a beer. beer. <laughs> Drinking the beer, getting in the Lazy River. Yes. And the $8 refills? That's amazing. That's even better than one of my favorite theme park deals, which is the Souvenir Cup at Halloween Horror Nights. I agree. And yep. it's it's craft beer. It's yes. like really it's good, good beer. beer. Yeah. My recommendation out of the beers on draft around Blizzard Beach is the High Alai, which is a beer you can find a lot of places in Florida. Um, very citrusy. It's an IPA, so it's got a pretty high alcohol content, uh, but it's not overly hoppy, so I do recommend that one. But there are... Uh, refreshments place or sorry freshmen's places all around uh, Blizzard Beach we're here at Frostbite Freddy's which is one of the bar locations they got frozen cocktails on the rocks cocktails those draft beers we talked about um, and we are here to grab two of the new drinks the Red Slope Bloody Mary and the Melt Away Margarita all right this is the Melt Away Margarita which is made with Caradero Reposado tequila uh, chili lime Cointreau um, and then a chili lime rim which is tahine and a lime wedge um, looks like a pretty good margarita. The thing about rain at a water park though is you're already in your bathing suit. Correct. But it's raining a little hard. It is. So luckily we have our drinks. We have an umbrella that is keeping us mostly dry. And then we also have the Red Slope Bloody Mary, which is a cut water Bloody Mary, the kind that comes in a can, uh, topped with the chili lime tahini rim, and then seasonal garnishes, which it looks like we have cherry tomatoes, shrimp, a little block of cheese, and maybe some cucumber. Which is surprisingly loaded or for is a it water a park. Spicy pickle. It could it be a spicy, it is a spicy pickle. That's a good point. It's probably a pickle. Um, surprisingly loaded for a water park Bloody Mary. Very. Yeah, I'm excited about it. I love a Bloody Mary. Ooh, very strong. A lot stronger than I thought it would be. I didn't get. I got to get some tahini in there. That's the best part. Mm, mixing with the tahini makes it ten times better. Very strong. I love the flavor of this one. Overall, really good margarita. I like this one. Yeah. What about yours? All right. All right. So I have the Red Slope Bloody Mary, which has a ton of stuff on top of it. And that's where I'm starting because... Florida is so confusing. Yeah. I think actually the entire skewer is kind of spiced because the tomatoes got a little spiciness to it. Might be from the tahini on the rim. So if you don't like spiciness, you can probably request without it. I'm going to try the shrimp because if that one's spicy, then they probably season the whole skewer. 
It's like shrimp cocktail, but alcoholic <laughs> and a drink. Um, the shrimp is fully prepared. It's there's no tail. It's deveined. Um, so you can just bite it, which is the best way to eat shrimp. It's just no work. Uh, it is a pickle. Hmm, a sweet pickle. These are like surprising toppings for a theme park Bloody Mary. Is it good? Yeah. Ooh. And that cheese cube. Tastes like your classic orange cheddar cheese cube. But now I've tried all the toppings, so I'm gonna try the drink. It's a cut water Bloody Mary, which is not my favorite, like Bloody Mary mix, but it's still pretty good. You can't taste the alcohol very much because of the tomato flavor really overpowers it. And because I have the tahini rim, this has some good heat to it, which is my favorite part of a Bloody Mary. I also went ahead and dumped the rest of my toppings just in there. So if you like a Bloody Mary, I'm actually shockingly pleased with this. It might be one of the better Bloody Marys I've had in Disney World outside of like specialty in restaurant Bloody Marys, but like the regular, usually if you're getting a cut water Bloody Mary, it's just kind of jumped into a cup with ice. And this has tahini and all the great toppings. Um, and you're probably starting your water park day early, so why not start early with Bloody Mary? Okay, we're into the top 10. We are here at Lada Wada Lodge. Miranda's abandoning me. She has to pee. That's fine. Um, Lada Wada Lodge, this is the get lunch must do. Now, of course, you're probably going to want to get lunch when you're spending the day at Blizzard Beach because it is a water park and you're a human and you need to eat. But you don't have to, and I don't think the food here is anything that you need to really go out of the way for. If you want to bring your own food, it's probably going to be just as good. However, getting lunch is a must do. You gotta eat. And uh, the food is pretty fun. And the theming of the restaurant is very cute. Lotta Water Lodge is the main quick service. It's the largest. Um, and as you can see, it is themed to be like a ski lodge, fireplace and all, um, with a couple of more basic options like uh, chicken and rice bowls, a flatbread, there's a Caesar salad, and the new option, shrimp and grits. We have the shrimp and grits here from Lotta Wada. Lotta Wada. Lotta Wada. I said it right this time. Lotta Wada Lodge. It is the shrimp and grits here. We have some corn. We have some Canadian bacon. I'm going to take a of that bacon. Ham. Ooh, there's some spice to that one. They're big. Mm -hmm. You can't see Quincy's face. But we're both yes. like pleasantly surprised. Hold on, I'm thinking of words to like describe. Perfectly cooked shrimp. Yes, very, very good shrimp. That Canadian bacon. Yep. Super good. It has a little bit of kick towards the ends. Let me see the corn by itself. See if it also has a kick. The shrimp is really seasoned. Very too. Good. Everything's really seasoned. There's a lot of flavor first thing. The corn doesn't have that spice, I don't think. Maybe it has like, it has a subtle hint of spice, but not as much as that uh, Canadian bacon there. It has great flavor. It has that juice factor. Like it's power, it's punching me with the juice, which I love because I love corn. Let's try the grits by itself. The grits are a little on the fine side. They're a little soupy. Very soupy. And as a North Carolinian, I know my grits. Yeah. Um, however, the flavor is awesome. Very good flavor, but it is on that soupy side that yeah. is. Yeah. All right, and I am having the white pop flatbread, which is um, a white sauce flatbread that has chicken, uh, bacon, tomato, uh, pepper. It's not tearing pepper, and then tons of cheese. Parmesan as well. So I'm not saying I would come to a water park just for this flatbread because that's ridiculous. However, it's an awesome flatbread. The dough is well cooked. It's super cheesy and has tons of toppings. The chicken's just the right size to get like a good solid chunk but not be overwhelming. You can taste the bacon, taste the bell pepper, taste the tomato in there. And my favorite boss, you get see. Very good. My favorite part is the white sauce. I love white sauce pizza. Yeah, same. It's so good. All right, real quick, drink the road. Um, this is another of those new drinks. So we grabbed it for the site so they can report on it. This is the watermelon passion lemonade. Um, and it's made with Tito's vodka. You can also get it non-alcoholic. Um, and it's got the sugar, which is watermelon sugar. Harry Styles. The drink itself tastes mostly like, tastes mostly like plain lemonade. There's a little bit of tartness from it that I think is supposed to be the passion fruit, but mostly what I'm tasting is watermelon, sugar, and lemonade. It's pretty good. It's a little overly sweet. If you like a sweet drink, I think this is the way to go. Or if you've got a kiddo who maybe wants a fun holiday drink that's red and green, that might be the way to go as well. But my hands are already sticky, so fair warning. All right, our next must-do is to grab some photos. This is one of the most popular photo ops at Blizzard Beach. It's Button and his parents. They're snowmen, and they are melting because, again, Freak snow doesn't last very long, but he's a great, they're a great spot for a photo op. So Miranda, strike your, strike a pose in the photo op. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> He's so cute! He is cute! Look at him! His name is Button! His name is Button. <laughs> My personal favorite photo op is here at the front of the park. This is Sunny Sleds. And there is a sled that you can get into and try out for yourself. Now Vacation Santa has been meeting here when it's not raining today. And it is snoping. Those are part of the holiday offerings. But the reason I like this photo op is because of this sign. We'd love to bargain with you. Bog. Miranda, are you ready for our next must do? Which one is it? It's one a good day. one. Yes. Relax in a pool chair. Yes. <laughs> we haven't once had a must do that involved getting in the water yet. I know. That's because those are all the best must do's at yes. a water park. Yes, I agree with that. We found some beach chairs. I'm excited. This is I'm, great. I'm so content and happy right now to be here with you. I like look at these and I'm like, those are uncomfy, but this is no, comfy. The sand is cold right the now. The sand feels which good. Is, ugh. Like, okay. your sock tan is crazy. My sock tan is fantastic. It's so crazy. I love it. <laughs> um, but this is comfortable. You still have our lemonade. We could have that beer, that, re that refillable beer cup, and yeah. sitting in the beach all day. Yeah. There's tons of seating around Blizzard Beach, so we so are in the seating. we're in the Meltaway Bay area, so we're just kind of in the sandy seating area around yes. Meltaway Bay. There's seating right next to Meltaway Bay where you can look at the pool. Seating in the kitty area, seating around near a lot of the slides. There's so many spots for yeah. you to go. It can definitely get really full during the summer, but you can typically find a chair. It's winter, and even though it's opening day and a little busier, look at how few people are around. There's no one. Like in that section over there, I don't know if you can see it on camera. Yeah, literally it's just... no one over there. For our treat, we are headed to IC Expeditions. Now, they have a couple of cones here, including some specialty temporary cones like the iridescent ice cream cone or the Elsa ice cream cone. But there is one Sunday that sort of takes the cake in both Disney World theme parks, and that is the Sand Pail Ice Cream Sunday. It is marked as a 50th treat. You ready for a sand pill full of ice cream? Let's do it. Let's do it. This marked as a 50th tree, but it's vanilla and birthday cake, soft serve ice cream, iridescent sprinkles, waffle cone pieces, rainbow cake, hot fudge, caramel sauce, whipped cream, and a cherry later in the 50th anniversary sand pill bucket. I recommend sharing this one, uh, but don't worry, when the 50th anniversary ends next year, they will not take away the sand pill buckets. It'll come back in its normal, non anniversary form. So, this is a standard, very famous treat here uh, at Blizzard Beach. Hello. Hello. Here we are again. Yes. Now we have our treat. It's in an entire sand pail that you get to keep. And it's a 50th anniversary sand pail right now, so it has Mickey and Donald on it. I don't even know if I got any ice cream. I think this might just this be whipped cream. This is just whipped cream and those iconic uh, Disney World sprinkles. So I've had the classic sand pail before. I think I prefer the classic sand pail to this sand pail. It's okay. um, this one. It's birthday cake, so it's sweeter than a classic Sam. It's sweeter than a classic Sam pill. It's not as classic of a Sunday, so I don't think it will please as many palettes. Um, however, it's still awesome. That awesome Disney soft serve. It might be blue, but it's still delicious vanilla. Very good. There's cake in there, which is amazing. I have not gotten to the cake yet. Get in there. I'm trying. Um, so much whipped cream, it's ridiculous. For me, birthday cake is one of my top two ice creams. It's really? birthday cake versus cookie dough and then birthday cake. So I'm a fan of this. Is it very sweet? Yes. Do we need like two other people to probably finish this? Probably. Are we gonna buckle down and do it anyway? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we are headed across the park again to go to our next must do, which is race. <laughs> there are two racing water slides here at Blizzard Beach. Uh, we're gonna pick one once we get over there and see who wins. All right, so we are racing. So one of the race slides is the downhill double dipper. It's the tube race slide. There's also a mat race slide up at the top of this one as well, um, which is called toboggan racers. But we are here at downhill double dipper where we're going to each take a tube and see who goes down the fastest. It does time your descent, as you can see right here with these, these folks. Is there anyone coming? Oh, there they are. And you can see who wins pretty exactly. So we're gonna see who wins. Oh, are you limbering up? Yeah. Well, I want to limber up. Well, too bad. Oh, no. <laughs> we, have to, we have to go get in line at the slide. So this is going to be a long video. This is going to be a long video. Because we don't have a cameraman. No. So, bye. Bye. Miranda destroyed me. I did. I really, really you did. You creeped me. Why are you so good at water slides? Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, that was so much fun. It was really fun. Was it's so a fun. really short slide. Again, winter, there are no weights on any of the slides. We walked right up to the top. We got yeah. in tubes and we went down the hill. Highly recommend you come in the fall, the winter, maybe yeah. even a little bit of the spring before it gets hot. Before it gets hot. It's it's so much better to not have to wait on the gross water park stairs. Yeah. But Miranda destroyed me. All right. We're into the top five now. I'm so excited. 
And next up we have Team Boat Springs, which is actually my personal favorite slide here at Blizzard Beach. It is the family raft slide. So it can feed a lot more people than most slides. Everyone gets to go together. It's very long and there's really great views because it actually is the, there are two slides that go from the very, very top of the mountain up there. One of them, of course, is Summit Plummet, which we'll talk about in a bit. Um, and the other is Team Boat Springs. So we're gonna head up there to ride Team Boat Springs together. So to get to Team Boat Springs, we do have to go up to the top of the mountain. And there's a couple options to do that. We can either take a million stairs or we can take the chairlift. I think we take the chairlift. Take, yeah. And this one actually has a bit of a line. This is one of the more popular slides. It's very fun um, and it is, you know, everybody gets grouped up. It's a long slide um, on a raft themed to like the top of the mountain. Super fun. The other thing is the view is crazy from up here. You can see so much. So on this side of the mountain, you can actually see Animal Kingdom. That is the Tree of Life. That's Expedition Everest. And you can see the floating mountains of Pandora over there, Whoa. which is pretty awesome. Uh, you can see all the way to I Drive over there. Um, and on the opposite side of the mountain, you can see Hollywood Tower of Terror and a lot of Disney World from up here. Lazy River. <laughs> the Lazy River at Blizzard Beach is called Cross Country Creek. It is a very lazy river. It's super slow, so don't expect any like sudden speed ups or anything out of your lazy river, you can rest and relax. There are some really cool theming elements, including the ice skaters cabin, which you pass if you go all the way around it. Yeah, cross country creek. Yeah, you'll see um, like clothes hanging out to dry from the skiers, um, all sorts of cute little theming elements as you cruise along the creek. But everyone knows the most fun of a part of a lazy river, trying to get in the tube. So fun. <laughs> hey Miranda, get in the tube. Really good, that's really, oh. It's really Oh! Hi. Success! Kind of. Pro tip for getting in the tube, start on the stairs. Because then you can just pull right in. Yay! Success. You did it! And she sticks the landing! There are a variety of tubes you can grab, um, including these little cedar tubes. Uh, there are these regular inner tubes. Uh, sometimes they have doubles, although I haven't seen any go by today. And then they do have um, Christmas tubes that we've seen as well today. Miranda's chosen to do the experience in the seat now. <laughs> it was easier for her to get it. This is my comfort. I didn't feel the need to be rolled in a ball. Document. I don't know when we get to get out of the lazy river. I don't either. <laughs> we've been floating for a while. Do you feel sufficiently lazy? Yes. <laughs> Me too. I love the lazy river. It's yeah. so relaxing. It was so much fun. Like, I loved it. Again, Just... perfect water park day. Yep. The souvenir beer cup that gets you the $8 refills. Drink the beer in a chair, river. Beer refill. Drink the beer in a chair, river. And then maybe a slide in there too. Or maybe but, a water. Or maybe a water. Save your water. Yeah, definitely a water and definitely <laughs> some of the water slides. Yeah. Miranda. What? Top three. Number three. Mini I'm donuts. So confused. It wasn't a quiz. I was telling you, I was excited about I the felt top like three. It was a quiz. <laughs> um, another must do at the Disney water parks are mini donuts. You can only get these at Typhoon Lagoon and Blizzard Beach in Disney World. They are delicious, amazing, tiny, bite-sized, adorable. You can get them as a half dozen, a dozen, and, and with or without dipping sauces. And they're Joffrey's, so, which makes me very happy. Yeah, the, I love Joffrey's. Yep, you've got Joffrey's coffee as well, so that's pretty good. So, freshly made mini donuts, look at them. Mini donut time. Mini donut. I'm so I'm excited. I'm very excited. Ready? Yes. Cheers. Clink. They're not greasy like your typical donuts. They're oh. nice, very, very doughy, light airy, sugary, mm -hmm. a little, a little crispy on the outside, mm -hmm. super the doughy, amount. super doughy on the inside, warm, covered in sugar. My favorite, what I always ask for for breakfast on my birthday is what I call campfire donuts because mm -hmm. my dad always made them over a campfire, which is um, Pillsbury biscuits Ooh. and then you poke a hole in them and you fry them on the stove and then you roll them in sugar. I love that. And that's what this reminds me of. They're a little sweeter, the batter is, yeah. but these are good. So you have good. to get mini donuts. That's we why do. it's in our top three must eat. You can only get them here. It's a special water park thing. So and it's super fun. It is so fun. Oh, oh, cool. this hot. Right, time to talk about the chairlift. Chairlift is our number two must do. I know that seems really high for what is basically a mode of transportation, but I absolutely love the chairlift here. Why walk stairs at water park when you can take a chairlift up? That's what I want to know. Um, it's super cool and you can ride it up and take the stairs down um, if you don't want to do any of the water slides or you can ride it up and just do the family slide up there if you don't want to do one of the scarier body slides. So highly, highly recommend the chairlift. 
It's definitely it's definitely a must do whether you're water sliding or not. You can even stay dry and do this must do. It was pretty cool. All right, we're cruising. This is the best view ever. I know. This is my actual favorite part of Blizzard this Beach. Is so fun. The worst part about a water park, in my opinion, is stairs. Not only are they gross, but they are stairs, and I hate cardio. And that, this. And like, I didn't bring water shoes. We could slip and. Like, and fall. fall. <laughs> yeah. So these, this uh, is really nice because it carries you all the way up to the top. It's thematic because it's like a ski slope. Um, and look at this view in this later part of the day with the sun. It's so pretty. All right, and our number one must-do in all of Blizzard Beach is Summit Plummet. Now, the must-do for this one's a little tricky. Not everyone can do it. You're, you're tall enough, Miranda. <laughs> yes, you are. Not everyone can do it because it does have a height requirement of 48 inches. However, it's a must do whether you watch someone do it or whether you ride it yourself. Summit Plummet is one of the tallest and fastest water slides in the world. You get up to speeds of 60 miles per hour on it. It is like 160 feet tall, I think. A graphic will fix that if I'm wrong. Um, and it's a body slide. You're just going straight down. I was horrified to go on this and I loved it. And I think the same is going to be true for Miss Miranda here. So she's gonna give it a try. I love thrill, but this one, terrifying. It's scary, yeah. All right, I rode the chair, chair lift up with Miranda, but now I'm going down the stairs so that I can film her going down Summit Plummet for the first time. Uh, you cannot film on Summit Plummet. That would be a safety hazard. You can't have anything around your neck because it's so fast. Uh, again, I love Summit Plummet. Miranda's very scared. I would not push her to do it if I did not think she's going to love it, but Miranda loves thrill. She loves roller coasters, and Summit Plummet looks very intimidating but it's actually a blast. <laughs> What'd you think? The amount of prayers that I sent to God is staring at the sky <laughs> before I went. And then now, I wanna go again. Right, it's so fun! I, <laughs> I was so scared. Summer Plummet, total must do. Whether yes. you're doing it yourself, or watching your friend do it, or a stranger. Yes. You, Summit Plummet is the number one must do Agreed. at all of Blizzard Beach. I agree. Yep. It's that unbelievable. was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> it literally, it's it's a joy. It's, it's such a, a fun water That is the side. most adrenaline rush at Disney World yeah. I've ever had. And you still feel safe. What is this from? Deep down inside all I wanted was you. Shrek. Oh. What is it? <laughs> you yeah, want to dance? That's why you know. Oh. oh. It's a new romance. All right. We did it. That is all 14 <laughs> of our must do's at yes. Blizzard Beach. I look wacky. Um, we're a little poofier than we the were The after earlier. water park <laughs> vibes are very different. Very different. What was your favorite thing you did today? My favorite thing, Summit Plummet. My favorite thing was watching you go on Summit Plummet. <laughs> <laughs> it was so much fun. It's so fun. That's why it's an everyone must do. I loved it. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And now go watch our perfect day in Magic Kingdom. <laughs> See you there.